Jurgen Klopp in order to save our season, in order for us to get back into the fight for top four. Here is what we need to do. I'm sorry, but if you think Curtis, I'm an absolute Spanner Jones, and Alex, I'm injury prone Chamberlain, is going to help save our season? No. Here's what we need to do. So, I'm suggesting with the lack of midfielders, the lack of solid midfield that we have at the moment, we should alter to change to a new formation. We we used it against Manchester City and what happened? We won. It was in the Premier League. We played a 4-2-3-1. A 4-2-3-1 where Mo Salah was up front. Um, what was it? Diogo Jota on the left. Roberto Firmino as an attacking midfielder. And who was on the right? I don't know, but what I'm what I'm saying is it worked. And what we need to do is implement that into our game. Get the lads used to a 4-2-3-1 because I think we can exploit more on those left and right channels. And with an attacking midfielder or in the center, you've got more chance of intensifying the attack because right now our midfield ain't gonna cut it for the rest of the season. Thiago and Bajicic and Keita are good. But Jordan Henderson, Fabinho. James Miller cannot play midfielder. He can play as a fullback. I'm glad with that. I'm fine with that. Curtis Jones, don't ever start him for Liverpool. Put him into the under-21s until he can develop himself into a real footballer. But right now, he's not at that stature yet. Oxlade-Chamberlain, he's injury-prone and he's not good enough either. So a formation change and a 4-2-3-1 for the next few games of the season. See how it works. And then... You should definitely try and look into implementing that, using that formation in the game against Real Madrid because 4-3-3 four, four, three, three ain't going to work it. All right, so who will be in that 4-2-3-1 formation? Fullbacks, obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andy Robertson. And with our current, uh, with our current centre-backs out for now, um, a potential of Virgil van Dijk and Kanate, obviously. And then the two midfielders, the two central midfielders, Thiago and Bajicic. Stefan Bajicic can learn alongside Thiago Alcantara. The two Span, the two Spaniards will definitely work a lot better alongside each other, and Thiago can teach Bajicic what to do to become a top class midfielder in world football. And now the three attackers, who will be on the left for the next few games. I want Cody Gakpo to be on the left. He needs to. He can't play as a striker all the time. I feel like he needs to be. He's a lot more familiar on the left. So play him on the left, and then yet and through the center, attacking midfield center. Carvalho should start there, and on the right, if Nunez is either not available, Harvey Elliott. Because Harvey Elliott or Ben Doak, give the give Ben Doak a chance. To start in one of these games because he deserves a chance. He is ready. And up front, either Salah or Darwin. That is if either of them aren't available. Because that, if we do that, see what will happen. See what will happen. What will the results be? And if it doesn't work, sure, do what you want. Because we are fans and we can't convince you to do everything. Because you'll always be sticking with a 4-3-3. But these next few games against Wolves, Newcastle, and what was the other one? I forgot. But these next three games before we face Real Madrid, we need to get a, we need to get nine points potentially to get ourselves back into top four. We get the nine points that we need, get ourselves back in a good position in top four. Great. And then it's up to the Champions League. What are we going to do there? How will we solidified secure Champions League spot for next season we either go all out and win the Champions League that is if it's possible we don't know yet uh, or secure top four get consistent wins knock ourselves out of the Champions League so we can focus on the league that is potentially that two options I feel like if we had the Premier League and the Champions League I think it would cause more injuries it would cause more injuries probably but I feel like if we win the if we go all out in the Champions League, secure our spot in the final, secure our spot for next season, great. Don't have to win the final. But we need 
to see a result, we need to see change. We need to see an improvement at this club. And formation change is first. Giving young players a start is another one. Calvin Ramsey. Calvin Ramsey. Stefan Bajcic. Ben Dole. Fabio Carvalho. Harvey Elliott. All these young players deserve a chance. And he's given a few of them a chance. But to not give Carvalho a chance. How much do we spend on Carvalho? Quite a bit, but... He deserves a chance to start one of these days. And in one of these three games in the next few weeks, he needs to start. I'm sorry. There's no excuse for that, but he needs to start. Yeah. And if this doesn't happen, what's going to happen for the next for the rest of the season? We have to wait for the next three games. If we can consistently win those three games, top four, there's a chance for top four. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>